Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Well, I was just about to tell you that I found the entrance to the secret hatch that's underneath the hay in this barn, so let's open it up and Damn, see what's this inside. Is heavy. Heavier than my depression! What oh. What is this? Jackpot. That is so weird. Is that the entrance to, to the Vortex Club hangout or some shit? Dead. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. I love how Chloe just goes in by herself. Like, bro, how do you know there's not a serial killer hiding down below, bro? Like, whoa, this is freaky. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Yeah, clearly. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Hmm, a code. Which means that same code could be somewhere upstairs. Question is, ooh, is that a glitch that I just saw? Let, let me go again. No. I guess I didn't see any, or maybe, I'm not sure. But in terms of a code, then that information should be around here somewhere. Question is... Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. What's the code? You know what, maybe it has to be... Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. There must be. Maybe in this crate? I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Uh, let me see here. I can try 1903. See if that will work. Um, yeah, let me try 1903. Or July 24th. That's the only two I can come up with. Because if there's nothing else, then I don't know. How am I supposed to figure out a code here? Now that's a serious door. Oh, it's a three-digit code. And it has A and B. Where's Gandalf when I need him? What the hell? Um, I don't know what to do. I I don't I seriously don't know what to do. Um How would I figure out this you know what, maybe oh, think, think. Bad code. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh. Okay, so it's locked. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh, thank you for the clue, Max. I would have never guessed. So. Two, four, five. Wrong code. Damn. Okay, what about 542? Oh! Yes. I thought that only worked in the Yo, room. I just guessed! Thank God. Open sesame. Is this some sort of a panic Stopped room? And ready for the apocalypse. Storage room. This must have cost a fortune. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Come on. Hey, 
And it's a little too clean. What the water supplies? It's like in David's garage bunker. So it is kind of like a panic room type water of situation. Supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Yeah, seriously. More survivalist supplies. First of all, who who would eat a whole fat ass can of mushrooms like that? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. Ooh, okay. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best, Dr. Jacob B. Huh, that is a total red flag there. Talk tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. You can tell the parents don't really care either. What? The hell? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Why there? Why? And look, the torture porn as always. You see that drawing? That picture? Yeah, this is definitely Nathan's bunker. <sighs> that son of a bitch. Yo! 1.3 million dollars this bunker was made. Talk about tortured. Yeah, I'm saying Nathan has some weird torture porn going on with his photography. Oh, <gasps> he's the one of the books? Oh shit. He's the one with the books. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. I'm okay. scared. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Wow. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. Oh my god. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Take the binders, bro. Oh like... my god. Rachel. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Yeah, that is so fucking weird, bro. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention. But nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. The day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Why is the father talking to him through letters instead of through, I don't know, face to fucking face? This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. 
Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. What the fuck did he do to Rachel, bro? Oh lord, bro. Let's see what's in here. It is oh torture porn. No. Fucking sick, bro. And what's that? No. What's what does his note say? I'm curious. Hold on. Can I even get to it? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. Fucking weirdo. Let me see what's in here. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Okay. Beers and everything. What's in here? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So at this point, he takes girls, he drugs them, so and does his fancy photography, basically. Which is so fucking weird. He could get... You know what? Let me see. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. Probably to numb the feelings so he's not fully aware what the fuck he's doing. Needles. Gross. Yep, he drugs them. And then... This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Drugs them. Dope them up so they could become their own, what, disposable mannequins, models, I don't know. It's fucking sick. This is fucking sick. Wow. Alright, so I guess we're not taking any of the files. I mean, I know I would've. Alright, I'm heading out, because Chloe just dipped. All right, let's go. Chloe is furious, especially since there's a possibility that Rachel is dead. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Dude, and the fact that we were there earlier, just hanging around. What if he actually did bury her over here? Look, this is it. This is it. Are you going to help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. What is that? Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel. Oh. It's a dead body. <laughs> Wow, she's dead. She's not missing. She never ran off. She just, she got killed and was buried. Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. I know you did, honey. It was obvious. Nathan killed her. Wow, Nathan's gonna go to jail for this shit. Either that or Chloe's gonna kill him. One or the other is gonna happen. Because if I was Chloe, I would have killed him too. Call the cops, report the body. Prescott is in trouble indeed. And look, there's the deer. Does the deer represent Rachel in a way? I don't know. Two 
Wow, this party is trashed up. I feel sorry for the janitors who have to clean that mess. That's not. I hope that's Nathan not right. Enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Damn. Rachel wanted us to find her, so we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. You're really going to kill him. In the party. Fuck it, I would have done the same thing. I really don't care at this point. Oh shit! This is like that eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky! The two moons? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Yeah, literally. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Yeah. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Oh, he lightweight. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. Oh my god, are you a Lana Del Rey stan? Ultra violence! Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? Yeah, so we can and shoot his brains out. You. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to it me, Warren. Aww. Text soon. See, that's a good friend. <sighs> Half a beer, though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That happens to me, too. Alright, this is a showdown. Can I take your coat or anything? My goodness. Okay, so okay, Chloe, Chloe just where the hell are you? ran off completely. Like uh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. Chloe. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money. The with teacher? My job and scholarship. The teacher. I'm not cool enough for this school. The teacher is involved yes, with the Vortex are, Club. Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, Am I no, okay? I'm actually, not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan, and don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Cool, I got two people now. Two people, let's go. 
And yes, I know we're at the club. There's no music because I'm not trying to get copy claimed here because that shit's annoying. You hear the guy? I'm so wasted. Stupid cliche dialogues. This is funny as hell. You know, hearing this without the music is a whole different religious experience. Like, this is so funny. Okay, so... If I was Chloe, where would I go? You need to find Nathan and take him down. Yeah, clearly. Brooke? Is she mad Warren asked me out? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't Neither expect do that you. either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. So why are you here? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. So then... I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. What You're the hell? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and... Kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. But well, there is. I'm still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Finally, now we're friends. That's cool. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Courtney? There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. School days. I just wish. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Even though I'm standing right in front of you. person I don't mind seeing right now. Okay. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, yeah. Wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Bigfoot on otter action. I'm done here. This is crazy. Oh, who's that? Oh, Alyssa! Nope. Let's talk to Alyssa. Yo, Alyssa. you stepped up to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. And in time. Cause, God forbid, she for, she doesn't know how to swim. The hell is this? Ah, the wit of the Vortex Club. No running, no diving, no fucking. Mm. Who's that? A girl? Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give okay. a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. 
Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Well, Max, I look at you. need to find a way you. to enter this bullshit club. Look at you puffing up I'm your so chest. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. So, what do I need to do? This door? Can I open it? Yeah. And it's the... Hey, what are you doing in here? Don't... Are you sick now? I can drink more later. Not anymore. Super Max lives? Wow, people are standing me? That's Apparently, cool. Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. In that shit! Energy drink in Everclear! Oh god, my stomach! Ew, boys are peeing. Oh my god, I don't even want to be here. Who the fuck is knocking? Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive, about... Time you got here to save this I'll lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, Excuse you look me. Pretty ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Oh my God, you have Just a fat ass me. crush on Dana. So yes, this party sucks. Oh my God. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. Wow. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. Not just a bitch, I'm a sorry, little Justin, bitch. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but. Your face looks so fucking intense. Cause it fucking and is. Your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, a no, dab? I'm, I'm cool, no, Justin. Thank and you. I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Oh my god, he's he's getting white boy wasted. Graffiti school. Wait, photo. Yes! I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. Hey, that is so cool. I like that. All right. Um, what's this one? The tide is turning. Exit the Vortex Club. Ew, we got people peeing. Bro, this, how do we have guys peeing right in front of these girls? Like, that's fucking weird. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Okay, well, let me look at this graffiti. Chloe must be around. She must be right in here. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Maybe Good night, sweet prince. Max is a feminazi? Go Shut the fuck up. up. Coming in, sister. Look, what? If you're not wrapping up, we're coming in, sister. Lord have mercy. This is so horrible. I need to leave. Uh, what should I tell the bouncer? Can I talk to him? God, are you mental? You can't come in. I'm about to bust your motherfucking face. Don't even fucking play with me. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Wait, hold on. Let me see something. Ooh, shit. God, are you mental? You can't come in. Gonna you mental? You can't come in. Oh my god, I'm about to. Ah, the wit of the vortex club. All right, I gotta think of a way to get into this stupid ass vortex club. So, any advice? Cause I need it. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.